I'm Dave, the RPA guy, and welcome to another episode of Let's Build. In part three of Monitor of Value, we work in Object Studio to build two actions, navigate to about and get mission value. In this video, you'll see that at one point some text will come up at the top of the screen and it'll, it'll, it'll say something that Dave, the RPA guy, does wrong. And you'll, you'll see it when you come to it. The reason I have it there is that just in case you watch this up to that part of the video and then you don't watch future ones, I don't want you to be misled. Uh, <laughs> document loaded is, in my opinion, never usable and parent document loaded should be used instead. You can feel free to look up more information on that, but essentially when you, when you come to that part in the video, just recognize that eventually in future videos, which I've already recorded, we come back and we fix that problem. Make this navigate to about. And then eventually if we feel like it, we can come back and make this navigate to any of these links over here by providing an input. What do we want to do first? We just want to navigate. Uh, we'll probably have to come in and add a, a wait stage in here. Uh, okay, we want to. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna click it though. That's right. Instead of navigating straight to a URL, we're gonna click, click about button. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna get the link selected. Like you should always do, check to make sure that there's no errors. Uh, these are just some advice type of errors that we're not that concerned about. This is just saying that we're not using some application elements we created. Uh, we will test it here. Let's click away from here and we're, we're still attached, so it should work. All right, look at that. Now there are several problems here. There is no inherent checking to make sure that the uh, page exists or wait for the page ex to exist in Blue Prism. You have to drop in a wait stage to wait for the page to load before going. So we will add that. So let's just say we'll make it, we'll keep it simple and uh, wait for the about button to appear. And we'll choose a document loaded true our timeout uh, we'll just leave it we'll leave it at five seconds we're on a local computer it shouldn't shouldn't take too long let's get the link link these in and then we'll do a basic exception stage we'll call this a system exception about button cannot be found and I'm actually just gonna copy this into here to the exception detail and the exception type is going to be a system exception oh we don't have any system exception do we want to save the screen capture sure why not no we don't actually right because we're, we're not going to be running on this on a, on a remote computer right now anyways just so you know I'm, I'm pressing F3 to get the link quickly and then F2 to bring it back to just the regular cursor. Now, after we click this, we'll want to do one more thing. Just as a best practice, I usually I don't link uh, stages in until if I've so if I've copied this, I did a copy paste. If I've copied this, now this is wrong, right? It says about button cannot be found, but that's not what we're looking for. This is after we've clicked the about button and we're going to have to look for something on the about page. Probably we'll we'll change it to look for um, mission text cannot be found. Mission text cannot be found. All right, let's make sure that this will make sense. Nope, uh, that's the about. Let's do mission, and then it should wait for the document to be loaded. And it found this true. We've got five seconds. That's fine. Now we link this in. How's that look? Look fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, I, I know I'm, I'm saving a lot here, but I'm I'm really paranoid about 
losing data that I've worked on to about. And now we're going to do the same thing. It's going to look the same though. Actually, let's let's test it like this. Mm, we'll test it like this first. So I'm going to I'm going to run it. We're already connected, so we're not really that worried about it, but uh, it should find the web page. Click on the about button and then wait at least up to 5 seconds for the uh, mission text to appear. Okay, now it's navigating and it should see the, the mission text and it did. Okay, so we had a success. What's our next step? Well, we probably got to get data off of this page. So let's let's actually publish that page so we can call it later. Create a new page called get. Now remember, we're being really specific about this. This is not very dynamic. This is not normally how you'd probably handle it, but we know that the scope of our process automation is as wide as we want it to be. And right now it's very narrow. We only want to get the mission. We'll do get mission value. Uh, okay, uh, another best practice is don't publish this until it works. We want to get. All right, so let's read the value. I, I normally make my objects extremely robust so that every action always checks to make sure that it's on the page it needs to be. If I add this this ar this uh, arbitrary this intelligent wait stage to wait for the mission um, text right then I do it again when I try to get the value which is robust let's try that again copy paste if I do it again here right I link this in the problem with this is that you now have taken the time to identify that element not once so actually you, you've done it once <clears throat> you're doing it twice here and then when you read from that value, you're going to do it three times. Which actually, this is a separate value, but you see my point. It's two. So we're going to just try. I don't only do this because uh, the milliseconds of time lost is, is still worth it to me in order to get the robustness that I want. So we're going to try this. We are going to assume that navigate is called before get mission value. And if we have an error, then um, you know we'll throw it and if we have to change it later we will let's do mission value we'll do get current value that should work we might actually do get HTML uh, that's not what I want get HTML attribute and then we'll get the the HTML attribute value was that what it's called let's go look Okay, so here's what I'm referring to. You look in these list of attributes, and these will change as the, the page loads and reloads, and, and sometimes even when the page is not reloading, it's just uh, you know um, just a, a piece of the page is reloading. So this will change, but this is the name of the value. So doing get current value and get HTML using the attribute name value will accomplish the same thing, but I just it's personal preference to use get HTML attribute for me and then we're going to store that in um, in a variable or a data item called mission value okay, let's put that over here and we can see what's in it okay normally we'd go into these and we didn't put a description but uh, we're the only ones using this so I know how to use it um, Okay, get mission value, right, <laughs> get mission value value, okay, we're going to do that, and then let's see if it works. We're already on the page, so let's just test it. Look at that, we got it, mission statement here. So uh, I'd say this works, so we're going to publish it published get mission value well we've completed part three of our monitor of value series where we made two actions in object studio that give us that first interaction that we needed with the website in our next part in part four of monitor of value we'll be coming back to finish up and give ourselves a launch and attach actions so we can use those to work with from process studio in part five of this series
I wonder what happens if you click that button. It's supposed to be a subscribe button. 